Hello everybody, uh, this is September uh, checking in from the PTS server and in this video I would like to cover the 230k uh, advanced, it's called advanced fishing and uh, there's been some videos about uh, people opening up the loot uh, but no one's, no one's really done a, uh, a coverage of actually how the, uh, the advanced fish, fishing actually works um, so that's what I'd like to cover in a short video here. Um, first of all, you need a few things. Um, the first thing that you need is you need to have a natural uh, fishing skill of 230,000. Once you get to 230,000 natural, that's without any buffs or anything like that, um, the max base proficiency, you get a title token, and it gives you the title called Any Fin is possible <clears throat> so once you have that you're also going to need a frozen wave fishing rod um, those typically run depending on what server you are are on anywhere from 75 to maybe 150 gold um, it's really dependent it's it's not that difficult to make uh, you do need to have a um, I think it's 120,000 handicraft to make it um, but um, there's a lot of miscellaneous components that goes into it, so they're kind of a pain in the ass to make. But they're relatively cheap if you want to buy it. Okay, and the, there's a, one cool thing about it, uh, about the advanced fishing, is first of all, if you're doing it to dump your labor, it takes 12 labor points per shot. So that's like um, basically like uh, four regular bait worm fishing at, at, in a shot as far as labor points go. Um, and the second thing is it doesn't require bait worms. It actually uses a, uh, a material called ground fish chum, which is made by cooking proficiency. And the two items that you need is shrimp and ground grain. Now, on my live server, I actually looked at the prices on these. Shrimp are about three silver each, and the ground grain is like a silver 20. Um, so all being said, it costs maybe one silver for your bait as opposed to bait worms, which are right around three silver. So it's a little cheaper um, to actually make this chum um, and use the chum than it is to actually use bait worms, which is really kind of cool. Um, so and then the last thing that you need to actually do the fishing is if you notice down here, um, there's an icon when you have the frozen fishing uh, rod on. It says advanced fishing. And um, you need to be in the sun, uh, the sun, uh, sun spec C. And as you can see, I've outlined it basically here. It's a pretty big area. And now it's, it is really close to uh, Friedrich and a lot of PvP happens here. Um, but one thing that you can do is you can kind of go like out, you know, out out in the middle of nowhere, like over here or over here, and summon a rowboat or one of the, the swan boats and just stand on that and, and do your fishing. So it's really easy to do. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and fish up a little bit, and then we'll look at some of the loot. Okay, so I finished up fishing. Um, I caught a little over 100 fish. And... Um, <clears throat> I would like to go over some numbers with you. Um, let's take a look at this. Um, this is for the advanced fishing. Um, you're going to need a frozen wave fishing rod, 230k base fishing skill, ground fishing chum, this stuff, and you also need to be in the Sunspec Sea, which is the area around Friedrich. And uh, the catch rate I observed was 85%, which means um, for every 20 cast, I caught 18 fish. So with that logic, this is what I'm finding to be the total labor to catch a fish. It's, 14, uh, it's uh, 12 labor to cast. But you have to add in 15% for the no catches. So that comes out to 14 labor per fish that I caught. These guys, these big belly fish. 
uh, 1.5 gold, or I'm sorry, 1.5 silver, uh, I'm sorry, 1.5 labor uh, per the fishing chum to craft with the cooking skill. Um, it takes 15 labor. Um, if we pop that open real quick, it takes two shrimp and five um, ground grain, but you get 10 chum. So even with uh, no skill uh, cooking, it's uh, 15 labor, 410, which comes out to um, 1.5 labor to uh, craft the fishing chum. And then um, 10 labor to open each one of the fish. You have to, it says, gut them, gut them open, slice them open. Um, so that gives you a grand total of 25 labor uh, per fish. So let's go ahead and take a look at the loot. I am not going to uh, show all of it. Um, basically what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click this and then I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video. So let's see, we've got uh, club heads four and then just straight up gold. And he's not shift clicking. There we go. Okay, I'll speed up the video from now on. Okay, so I ran some numbers here, and what we ended up with was um, five brine bound rocks, 18 club head spores. Um, we received 23 uh, three packs of soul Riesian mackerel, which is basically 23 Dawn Lakes, three rare treasure maps and six blake canvases i popped over to the live server and checked the current values on my server which is hanor um, the brine bound rocks are going for 2.4 gold the clubhead spores 16 silver the uh, dawn lake is about two gold treasure maps are about 10 gold and the canvases are about four gold gives us a grand total of 117 uh, gold the total labor cost based on the 25 labor per fish, we caught 104, came out to 2,600 labor, which gives us a whopping value of four silver and 50 copper per labor point. It's not really efficient. Um, there is one thing that I wanted to point out. I watched a video about two weeks ago where a guy opened a um, hundred of the big belly fish and he actually got some of the arcane treasure maps which are worth considerably more than the blue rare ones um i guess the loot's better i haven't done the treasure maps in 3.0 maybe i'll do that in my next video but i didn't get any now to be clear here i'm on the pts i'm not on the live server um so if you're playing currently and you have 230k fishing and you want to try this go for it you might actually get uh, better loot um, they may have changed the loot drops from these fish to not include the arcane 
uh, treasure maps, or perhaps they're just incredibly rare, like not even one in a hundred uh, rare because I opened 105 or 104 fish, didn't find a single one of them. Um, so there you have it. This is my video. I hope you learned how to do the fishing. Um, and you see the loot. It's not very profitable, but it is, you know, it took me maybe 30 minutes, maybe less than that to dump 2,600 labor, which um, if you're using it on alt account and you're just trying to get rid of labor, there you go. Here's what's going to happen, though. The blank canvases are just, you know, it's kind of horrible. Um, not not a lot of people are going to use those, so their price are going to plummet. The rare treasure maps, kind of the same thing's happening. If people, if the loot inside of the rare treasure maps, we'll take a look at that probably in another video. If they're just not good, they're not going to sell. And really, most of the uh, most of the gold is coming from sellables. And the only reliable sellable that I see in here is the top three, the Brian Brown Rock. Those sell pretty quickly. The Clubhead Spores and the Soul Res Mackerel, which you may have to turn into a Dawn Lake to sell it. That's where most of your money is coming from. This other stuff, you know, it's kind of hit and miss, and I could see the prices going down if a lot of people start doing this. But it's a good way to burn labor nevertheless, and if you want those blank canvases, you know, make a UCC wall. There you go. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Questions, comments, please feel free to ask. If you want to see a particular video, want me to cover something else, please let me know. Have a good one.